no sense that my resolution calling on the United States Congress to go on record in support of the British would be anything other than helpful. Senator, how do you think it would be helpful? Because conceivably that might topple the Argentinian government. Is that acceptable to you? No, that is not acceptable in the sense that I wish for that. But the fact of the matter is there's a great deal at stake for the United States and the hemisphere. First of all, and for Canada, I might add very boldly, the fact of the matter is that if we allow in this hemisphere the settlement of claimants, property disputes, by the use of force, we're going to unleash an entire series of actions that none of us want. Secondly, NATO is an alliance upon which we have made a firm and solemn commitment. And it's clear that the Argentinians are the aggressor. It's clear the British are right. And it should be clear to the whole world where the United States stands. You mentioned hemispheric interests. Let's just stick to American interests at the moment. The OAS has voted that they recognize Argentinian sovereignty. Now, don't you lose something in hemispheric relations with the proposition you've just made? There is no question that the United States is going to lose no matter what it does. The question is that we are going to lose, in my mind, we lose a great deal more by not standing on principle and not standing with our oldest and closest ally and not standing with the alliance that is most important to the United States of America. Could you tell me quickly how you rate Soviet actions lately in helping Argentina if you're not also giving them a whole new opening in Latin America? Negligible. I believe that Soviet actions are negligible. Their capabilities are limited in the area. There is no evidence that the Soviets are, in fact, making any major moves to move anywhere into the hemisphere. Would you be sorry to see the Galtieri junta toppled? I would be sorry to see the situation change in such a way that there would, in fact, be an increased prospect of Soviet and or communist influence in the hemisphere. But I'd even be more sorry if we dashed what is already a fragile and very tenuous situation with regard to NATO and NATO solidarity.